Hi guys, welcome back. So in this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to record an electric guitar. A couple of things to do just before that. I just want to reduce the volume of these drums and then mix the acoustic guitar to it. The reason is we're already quite loud on the meters here. I'll just show you what I mean. So we've only got two elements going and we're already up, up to minus five already on the stereo out so we're going to have loads more guitars and vocals and all sorts of things coming in later on and they're all going to sum together and just basically put this over digital zero so we want to start turning down elements now in volume so we go to our drums and we'll just bring these down maybe to minus five on the fader so we'll bring down the guitar to mix as well And you can see we've got a bit more headroom. I'm just going to go a bit more than that, actually. So we've got a bit more extra room on the stereo out. Otherwise, we'll start getting clipping and all sorts of problems. Now, we will be tidying this all up with compression and balancing out the volume with compression, that kind of thing. But just wanted to let you know this is a good practice, good gain staging practice. And we take care of these small little problems now, so they're not big problems later on. And the other thing I just wanted to quickly show you is, is that following on from the last lesson, you see all this cross hatching and you can get to the different takes by clicking on the down arrow. But you may find it easier just to drag the different takes onto different tracks. So if you drag the take down, it will create a track for you. And if I drag it down one more, it will create another track. And you may find it easier to see the different takes on different tracks, for example. Just wanted to let you know that that is available to you as well. I'm just going to control Z all of that, undo it all. So as I said, we're going to record an electric guitar in this lesson, and I'm going to be using the lanes function. Uh, a lanes function is a feature of Artist and Pro, I believe, and it just means that we will record onto different lanes, which is this button here, and it just makes the comping process later on a little bit easier. But don't worry if you don't have lanes, so if you're using the free versions or the elements version, it doesn't matter. You can use this method here that I showed you before, but I just wanted to show you this process as well. And then we'll go through all the takes, picking out the best ones in later lessons. I'm going to get a professional guitarist to record these parts because my guitar playing is all right, but it's just not as good as a pro. So just wanted to let you know that, but I will be showing you how to record guitar right now in this lesson. And just a reminder that all the recorded audio, the unprocessed and the processed, will all be available in the work files. So you don't need to worry about, oh, I haven't got this guitar bit, I haven't got that. It will all be available to you. So you can mess around with it as much as you like when you're practicing on your own. So it's a similar process. We need to plug our guitar in. Rather than plugging in a mic like we did last time for an acoustic guitar, we need to plug in the cable, the quarter inch jack cable, as shown here, from the guitar into one of your inputs on your sound interface as shown here and we're going to increase the gain and we're probably also going to need to press this high z button the impedance button as well to get a bit more input the signal that comes out of a guitar is quite low so we have to amplify it within the sound interface so as before we're going to add a mono track so i'm just going to right click in the space add an audio track Make sure you've got the input selected that you're plugged into. Make sure it's mono and then just name it. And then you just strum your guitar until you get a decent level. Remember what I said about it not being too loud and not being too soft before. We certainly don't want to clip it, but we don't want it too low either. If you record your guitar really, really low, a low volume, and then try and bring it up later, you'll you might bring up a load of humming or buzzing or whatever, just unwanted noise. So we try and get our guitar levels to round about the minus 10 dB level, exactly the same as the last lesson. But I don't get anything until I press the monitor button. So you can add an insert if you wish and have a 
virtual amplifier if you want to change the sound of your dry electric guitar signal. So at the moment it's just the guitar coming through the interface and hearing it through Cubase. There's no effects on it. You can use distortion, so for example an amp simulator or a VST amp rack. Depending on what version of Cubase you have, I'll just go for the simple one, amp simulator. And this is going to change the sound of it quite dramatically. So there's loads and loads of presets you can use here. But I'm just going to use ACDC and turn down the drive a little bit. But don't forget it won't be recorded with the effects on. You can bypass this anytime. Even with the recording sitting there, the recording will still be dry. And so the plan here is generally to record as many takes as you can. Therefore, you can not only pick the best takes, you can also use, let's say, three takes in the whole track, and you can have one guitar down the middle. Then you can use another two takes panned left and right, so you've got a nice, thick guitar sound. One down the middle, one left, one right. And it works much better to have three different takes to start doubling up your guitars or to start thickening out your guitars. It works much better having different takes. If you just record one and then try and duplicate it left, duplicate it right, it just doesn't sound as good. I'll show you all that in the mixing lessons, but that's the idea here when it comes to recording. Try and record the whole song through at least three times. Okay, so let me show you what happens when we record with lanes. What we have to do is just press this little lanes button here. If you have it, press it, and then we're gonna record our loop. In fact, I'll make the loop a bit shorter, just so you can see what happens. And it will put all the takes on different lanes. Let's get rid of this as well, get a bit more space. So I'm making sure we've got the track highlighted, that record enables on and monitors on. I'm just gonna take off the amp simulator for now. We can add that anytime. <laughs> So as you can see, we've got five different takes. At the moment, we could have gone on and had more. I just want to show you how it loops around and gives you another lane each time. And it just makes it easier, as I say, when it comes to comping, because we have a comping tool up here. So as you can imagine, when you finish recording, you have many, 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 many takes. And it can be a bit of a minefield as to choosing the takes and then comping it. And I'm going to show you all of that later on, give you my traffic light method where we color the different takes green and red and amber, and we'll deal with all that at the right time. As I said before, we're trying to keep it simple, and I just want to show you how to get audio into your computer and into Cubase to get you started. So that is how you record an electric guitar. You plug in your guitar into the quarter inch jack input. Make sure you select the right input on your mono audio track. Same as before, really, just add a mono audio track. Make sure you have it armed, record enable, make sure you've got monitor on. You can either do it with or without lanes, it's up to you. Also depends whether you have that feature. You make sure your gain staging is correct so you've got the right level. Make sure on your input you're coming up to about here, minus 10 roughly, at the loudest point. Just gives you a bit of headroom in case you suddenly play a little bit louder. But we don't want to be down here at minus 30, minus 40, because when you then bring the volume up later on, it will bring up loads of unwanted noise. So we want it up here somewhere, recording level. So just adjust the input gain on your interface and make sure you start turning down items, usually the first item in the track, so we don't start overloading the stereo out. So I'm just going to undo all that because I'm going to ask a professional guitarist to record this for me, which will be far better than me. And we'll have a look at that in the next lesson. And we'll also have a look at bringing in a virtual synth called Halion to play some nice pad chords for us. Okay guys, I hope this has been useful for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.